because it was so goddamn last minute. It was not last minute. You mean long time? <laughs> you had fucking almost 24 hours to do this. I have work. So do I. So do I. That I do stuff all day long. That's that's your issue, man. I can't be. I can't. <laughs> no, you tell people to do shit all day long. No, 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 no. No, you put the phone up to no, your he ear. He says, I'm the manager. You, you put the phone. Jack, I don't understand. No, <laughs> Corey, I'm the manager. Corey got, a, Corey got a hernia, so I'm like the piss boy. Every time somebody needs a battery. You look I like a go bucket get, of shit. I got to go get the battery. Every time somebody needs rotors, I got to go get the fucking rotors. Every time something heavy got to get put away, I got to put it away. Well, you got a blub blub, so I, it's about it's, time you do something. Yes. Well, I picked a list based on that wacky movie we watched last night. The top 20 most controversial movies of all times. Okay. Now, as I just put in controversial, there's like a gazillion lists out there. Some had, and, and even on here, there's movies that I haven't heard of. Um, but this is from uh, a site called... Watchmojo.com. Oh, I love Watchmojo. Yeah, I've seen some of their stuff. Okay. I completely forgot about this movie with a uh, James Franco and Seth Rogen. Oh, oh God, fuck. that movie. The interview. Yeah. That wasn't controversy. It was just stupid. Oh, it was... Everyone had outrage because they were going to... They didn't have outrage. North they, Korea. Yeah. No, they... the Kim Jong... Yeah. Un, ill, yeah, eek. Him. No, yes. Kim Jong Un. Yeah, he he threatened to kill them. That's right. And he, you know, but he didn't. Know, he just threatened to kill them. He said, "Yeah, he like have them killed." <laughs> well, anyway, that movie wasn't good. It yeah. wasn't that good. Anything with I, I remember. Anything with James Franco sucks well, usually. No, not well. I I say I think Seth Rogen and James Franco combined. Seth Rogen has done some good films on his own. James Franco has done some good uh, films name on one. His own. Seth Rogen? No, Franco. One of the Spider Men. No. I forget which one, but he was in. He was. He, he was, was in he, one he of was, them. No, he was in all of them because he was the Green Goblin's son. Yeah, but he was only in like yeah, but he but no. I'd like. Well, anyway, this one I did, couldn't believe. Reservoir Dogs. That is not. I, I don't know what's controversial about when it. When it came out, I mean, you the didn't... St- all apart when he was torturing the cop. When it came out, You people, don't see nothing. When he cuts his ear, I still, I still can't hear stuck never in the middle with oh, you. You're right, you're right. But that's, according to this, this is what was causing an uproar for crazy. Yeah. I didn't think it was controversial either. You never see him cut the ear off. You see the ear gone, and you see him... Put it to his mouth and say hello. <laughs> yeah, and you see him co- going with the gas can. And the best thing is when when Mick Foley saw that scene, he's like, "Up ah, in there." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, that's gimmick infringement. <laughs> oh God, this one I do not think is controversial either, but apparently it got some people in an uproar. Uh, American Sniper. No, I never saw it. Well, well, the reason it got people in an uproar. Is because we found out Chris Kyle's a liar. Mm. Really? Yeah. Explain. He was sued by Jesse Ventura for some of the claims made in the book. Oh, I remember. Now nah, that part, yes. Yeah, Chris, Ky- Chris Kyle's full of shit. Yeah, well, he, yeah. He, he, embellished, he embellished things. Was that the movie uh, who Bradley Cooper played in that? Yes. Yeah. And had the fake baby? They had like a uh, they 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 couldn't get a real baby for a shot, so they used a fake baby. Yeah, and Bradley Cooper just had had to make this doll, and was he was moving the head with his hand. Yeah, that's all I can remember about the film. Yeah, yeah that that may be what was controversial about it is uh, some of the some of the claims in Chris oh, Kyle's yeah. book, such such as a use of a noticeable prop baby. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, that should make it controversial. No, that, that just, just makes it shitty. That, 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 and, and, shitty prop guys. Right. And and at a certain point, the film's box office success took on a more political meaning as conservatives nailed or rallied behind it and liberals decried it. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it was a very polarizing 
movie mm. uh, on the political side of yeah. things. Yes. But like I said, Chris Kyle was uh, mm-hmm. was was proven to be uh, to have taken the liberties mm. with what was supposed to be a factual account. Any movie I see that says anything like is like it's always based on a true story. There's too many liberties that are taken by with everyone. Well, like, just remember, kids. That whole based on a true story thing, Texas Chainsaw Massacre says it was based on a true story. Yeah. Okay. The Freddie Mercury was based on a true story, and there were so many fabrications in that. Yeah. But no, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a a very, very fantastical take on on the Ed Mm. Gein story. Yep. So, all right. All right. What's next? A movie I've never seen. Uh... It's called Crash. Great movie. Heard that, of it. That beat Brokeback Mountain for the Oscar that year. Are we thinking of the same one? Which which Crash is this? This is so. about this is in '96, and it's about a film producer who gets into a car accident with a lady, and he runs into a whole subculture of deviants who are get turned on when disasters no it's a different happen. crash i know what one you're thinking the, about. okay okay yeah because there's two different films called crash yes hmm. uh broke back mountain lost the oscar to the crash that we're thinking of. okay and that one was like somebody it like somebody got into a crash and then somebody went and and, and it's just like stories that intertwine yes, and they all just intertwined at the yeah. end yeah. that's a it's a, that's a great movie yeah that movie is good that's a great movie um are they curiously strong? Not really. Not when you get desensitized. Oh my to god! Them. I saw potato candy. I almost bought. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the next movie? Apocalypse Now. Uh, you know why that's controversial? Because they used real corpses that they got from a fucking grave digger. And what didn't um, Marlon Brando phone it in? No, Brando kind of phoned it in. But the other thing that makes it controversial is you remember the scene in Kurtz's camp when they killed the ox. Yes, it was a real lot. That was that's that's correct. Wasn't there also a helicopter scene where someone actually died? No, no. you're thinking of a different movie. Okay, that was a different movie. Yes, yes. Now apocalypse now, and, and I mean the amount of coke that was consumed on that <laughs> fucking set. Well, yeah, Martin Sheen had a heart attack during that movie. Yeah, and Dennis Hopper was all fucking zooted on coke. <laughs> Has he ever done a movie like Stone Cold did, Sober? Did, what Hopper? Yeah, he. It seems like every one of his movies, he's on something. No, I don't think he has. That's I, that's in the rider. I'd like to know what he was on during fucking True Romance. <laughs> I remember the first time I act, it's a long movie. Yeah. And the first time I actually sat down and watched the entire movie is when Bella was an infant and she couldn't sleep and I was on the couch downstairs and I her swing was next to me and this way if she got up, you know, I was I was there and that's when I first saw that movie for hmm. the first time. I have, I have, uh, I have the limited edition DVD. Great movie. This one should <laughs> controversial. The Last Temptation of Christ. The Mel Brooks thing? No, no, no Mel no, Gibson. No. This is. Oh, when... sorry. Yes, my God, damn it. Mel Gibson. This is when. No, this is this is actually the first one. This is the one with... Uh, uh, oh, no, I'm thinking of The Passion of the Christ. That, 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 with the guy with the weird teeth. Uh, DeVoe. De, de, yeah, DeVoe. Uh, de, de, Willem DeVoe. Yeah, William him. Bill Biv DeVoe. Yeah, him. Willem DeVoe, yes. Yes. But I, I, I... It's been so long since I watched mm-hmm. Last Temptation. Um, it's not a terrible movie. No, but what caused the uproar was the fact that Jesus... Was it? They, what, what the fact? What caused the uproar was the fact that they told the story the way it really is. Mary Magdalene was a fucking whore, and he he grew up a regular guy and a yes. family man. Mm. I'm not. Uh, no, that's I'm, okay. we're not going. No, we're not going to get into. That's it. rather controversial. Uh, right, right. Um, all right, next. They caused controversy. <laughs> I think everyone remembers when this movie came out. Borat. Borat. I don't know if that was. I don't yeah, know why it, it was because Kazakhstan. He 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 tanked the economy of an actual country. The son of he tanked 
when an actor can tank an actual country. Holy shit! Yeah, Doug, there was a lot, a lot of nudity in in that movie. Passion of or uh, mm. Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah, I can understand. I never. I'm not a big. I'm. I don't think I've ever really seen a Sasha Baron Cohen film. I've seen him in films. I don't think his character shit's funny. I didn't like Ali G. I I I, I was not a fan of Ali G. Um, I did like the two Borat movies. Yeah, I, I liked I liked the two Borat movies. What was the one that had uh, the dictator? Yeah, but at, at the end, oh my God, he was he was Giuliani. That was Borat too. Oh, that was uh, a subse- subsequent the movie room. film. Woo. Uh, yeah, that's right. Jesus sat there waiting his turn to go slap, slap with Mary. Um, but yeah, a fucking Borat, like su- Borat subsequent movie film. With, that's the one with Giuliani at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, I was never a fan of Ali G. I did not like the dictator. However, I fucking roared at certain points during the Borat movies. Yeah, I- and, you know, I'm like, I'm glad that he was brought up and you talked about uh, the Freddie Mercury. You mm-hmm. talked about Bohemian Rhapsody. Originally, Sasha Baron Cohen was attached to play Freddie Mercury. Mm, I could see that, but the rest of the surviving members of Queen mm-hmm. put the kibosh on that because he wanted to get uh, Sasha Baron Cohen wanted to get into like he like he wanted the movie to be essentially fixated on Freddie's. Sex life. Oh, that that would be Sasha. Yeah. But that being said, I'm glad Rami Malek got it because Rami Malek killed it. Yeah, oh, it yes, was a it, you know as as far as a movie, it was good. As far as a factual movie, uh, it, it took liberties. Uh, yeah. Took too many liberties. It took liberties. <laughs> All right, well, you're not a Queen fan anyway, so what do you? Uh, care? But I'm a fan of good film. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the next movie? Another Marlon Brando film. Ah. Huh? Last Tango in Paris. Oh, not the one I was thinking. Ah, uh, that's only controversial because of butt sex. Scene. That's right, and 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 the actress didn't wasn't really fond of having that happen, but it happened. Yeah, that that that's what made that one controversial. All right. I've never seen this movie, but another one with uh, William Defoe. Uh, Willem. Anti- Willem. Sorry. Willow. No, Willem. Willem. I thought he said Willow too, but that's okay. <laughs> We know what he meant. I know what he meant. Antichrist from 2009. I haven't seen that one. What's with him and the Christ movies? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. But this has, I guess, I guess there's a lot of sexual mutilation going on. It, it, him and his wife, I guess, lost their child. So they go to try and find solace in a cabin and strange forces start happening and possess him and weird shit happens. And I guess because of all the graphic stuff and the sexual stuff, mm. people wanted certain scenes cut and banned and stuff like that. Hmm. Here's one we can all talk about. Monty Python and the Life of Brian. Oh, yeah. I can see why, uh, I know especially, exactly. yeah. especially in a conservative England at the time, mm-hmm. uh, you know, under the it Thatcher. It banned in many, what do they have, co- counties over there? or mm-hmm. what Counties. They? Counties, yeah. yes. It, it, I mean, I can understand it, especially in a Thatcherite yeah. junta. Yes, and seeing John Cleese's interview... Where they're basically talking, you know, talking about how the movie is is amazing, and then Rowan Atkinson did a spoof where he's talking about Pythonism, yeah, and, and it's just, it, I mean, the whole that whole thing, of course, but then of course uh, him being nude uh, in Tunisia did not help because no. they don't like nudity over there. I mean, yeah, the whole everything was played with controversy, but the whole thing is. That was Python stock and trade. Yeah, you know, uh, that was that was Python stock and trade. They did not tow the Thatcherite line. No, no. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Evening, Brian. There we go. All right, what's next? I've never seen this movie. This is from 1995. It's called Kids. Yep, that movie is very controversial. It'll 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 it hurts. Mm-hmm. Okay, because it's about I saw like spreading somebody unknowingly spreading HIV. Not to... unknowingly. Oh, he oh, knew what he, he was. Knew do- it. Oh, yeah. he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And it's pretty much. Uh, 
It's a hard. It's a, that's a hard watch. It, it's a very hard watch, and especially the way it was shot. I mean, it is a damn hard watch. It's a it's a it's a it's a very good movie, mm-hmm. but it's one of those movies that you only ever need to watch once. Yeah, it, you know that that goes on a list like that with uh, like Schindler's List. Mm-hmm. You know, wonderful movies. You know, I mean, f- fabulous movies. Yeah, but you only want to watch them once. Yep. All right, Did you next? not read your typing? Yeah, no, I didn't type. He cut. Here's another. He copy pasted. <laughs> no, no, no. I just printed. Because you know, oh, it's not even a proper copy pasta. No, not a copy pasta. You could just do a screenshot. Did anyone ever see Pink Flamingos from 1972? Yep, John Waters, baby. Yep. That, that was that was the first John Waters movie. That is a fucked up movie from beginning to end. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, well, I guess there's the uh, egg eating scene in the crib and the, the shit eating scene. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that could be why yeah. it's on the list. Divine, uh, <laughs> Divine shoots a motherfucker, and then picks up dog shit and eats it. Yeah, it's, it's, and it was one of the first depiction depictions of a of a drag queen. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's and and Divine ended up. Being in most of Waters' films, yeah, it's it's a it's it's weird. It's one of those movies like the one we're going to talk about later that it's like, how do these get made? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it's like, all right, what's next? <laughs> I've never seen this one. Uh, Irreversible from two thousand two. I don't know that one. Don't know that one. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, we just baloney. Okay. <laughs> Number seven is the one you were thinking about, The Passion of the Christ. Passion of the Christ. Right. Or as some of my um, my friends along the left-hand path have called it The Origin of the Lie. Oh. I liked the movie. I the did. movie... I just... It was a very... It was a very graphic... If, if you follow It was the needlessly... Graphic. Yes. Yes, it was. It was needlessly graphic. I'm not a Christian. And even I was uncomfortable watching some mm. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when they flailed him. Yes. Um, but based on, on what the Bible says, it's very accurate. Mm. Um, you know, it, it, it's an accurate... It's an accurate, based on the Bible, it's yeah. an accurate depiction of the last of Christ's mm-hmm. last days. And I can see, and for the for the graphic, gratuitous violence, I can see mm-hmm. why it's controversial. Yeah. yeah. Plus, any time you put, you know, Christ on on the screen, it's somebody's gonna have a problem with it. In any light, yeah, yeah, Correct. people are gonna, uh, people are gonna have. Uh, you're 100 percent right on yeah. that. I mean, but because not everybody can have the detachment that mm-hmm. that we could have. Yep. All right. Next. 1915, a birth of a nation. 100 percent controversial. Yeah, I can understand why. I never saw it though. I, I've heard enough about it. I exactly. You know. The way they depicted African Americans, mm-hmm. yeah, in this film actually created a new flow of clan members after watching this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking, uh, it, it, yeah, that's a horribly it's a horrible movie. film. Yes, horrible movie. Hmm. I've never seen this. Maybe you did. From 1980, Cannibal Holocaust. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. Um, I've seen it multiple times. Um, Eli Roth essentially mm. recreated it later on. That's what I thought. With uh, the Green Inferno, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, depictions of cannibalism, um, real it, live animals being killed. Yep, like, live animals yes, being yes. killed again. Uh, let's see, Doug. Doug says, "Passion of the Christ." Uh, did you know Jim Caviezel actually got struck by lightning on the hill where he was getting crucified during the filming? Ooh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Maybe somebody didn't want Mel to make that movie. <laughs> That's no. Maybe, maybe you put a guy up on a high hill during a thunderstorm. That shit's gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to fucking f- 
to have pushed her narrative a little bit. Here. No. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I've I've seen Cannibal Holocaust. Um, it's very graphic, and the way it the way it was marketed, they marketed it that it was real. Yes, like it was it was lost footage, like a found footage. Like yeah, yes. one of the first found footage type yes. films. Yes. That being said, it's not a terrible movie. Eli Roth, the sick bastard, um, you know, up the ante with the Green Inferno because he redid it just with better production value and yeah. modern production value. Yeah, that's a fucking disturbing ass movie. You'd love it, Bill. Nope. It's going in the bucket. Um, I'll put more revenge shit in there. Go, don't fuck with me. I've never seen this movie. Um, one of the movies, it goes by two different names. I can't pronounce the first one. Selo or The 100 Days of Sodom from 1975. Never saw it. It tells the story of the Italian regime during World War II. And how they basically brutalized a lot of young men, a lot of young women. Hmm. You know where we yeah. can go with that. Doug, I'm right there with you. I love Eli Roth's movies. Yeah, his la- you see what his latest one is? No. Borderlands. Oh, God. I. You know what? And, and I got into a great argument online. I never played the game. Oh, right? Randy loved Borderlands. Well, okay, I never played yes. the game, so these people are saying that they want it recast and all this other stuff. So Jesus I said, Christ. and I said, okay, you know what? And I said, I would rather see Alan Tudyk play um, the the robot than um, Jack Black, just because right. I don't really care for Jack Black. And they said, well, you're okay with Kevin Hart playing like this character? And I said, yeah, I find Kevin Hart kind of funny. I, I enjoy his comic timing. Yeah. And there's like, the, he, he's not a comedic person. He's a hardened soldier. I'm like, okay, I didn't know that. I don't know the game. <laughs> but, man, oh, you got to see the trailer. It's uh, awesome. I, I, roll I, up the window. We're going through Piss Gulch. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, what do you mean? No, roll up the window. Boom. Ah, ah. Well, what did you think it was going to be? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I gotta tell Randy about that. He he's a big fan. He was a big I'm, fan I want to see it. It looks awesome. It looks like Jumanji three. To be honest, yeah. I mean, it's it looks wonderful. All right, what's next? I've never seen this movie. Um, it's called a Serbian film. I've never seen it either. I cannot. Fi- I I need to look on AFTA. Yeah, I, I I've never seen it this, either. And I I've from what heard, I've heard of it, I don't want to watch it. Oh yeah, this is about a, a uh, down on his luck adult film. Yes, actor there's, who decides there's, to do anything for money and yep. it's nasty shit. Yes, yes. There's some fucking really really off putting stuff in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I actually I've I've tried to find it. No streaming service in the United States carries it. Um, you can't. I don't think you can even get it. Like buy it on Amazon, um, on Prime Video. I'm gonna check on After to see if it's on there. Yep. Okay. Because I'm gonna give it a shot. Mm. I, I gave. I dude. I gave the Human Centipede a shot. I know. Uh, no. Oh, on the one list I had, it had one, two, and three. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gave. I gave Human Centipede a I shot. I watched them all. I didn't. Oh. I Why won't they read the terms and conditions? They were just so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh, so God. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking South Park. Yes. This is the South Park episode that parodied it. I don't... The, the human sent iPad. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. All right. Num- many- number two, we all know. Uh-huh. The Exorcist. I do, I, at, I the can, time. at the time. At the time, yes. Time. Mainly because of people like, oh, screaming in theaters and vomiting and running out and passing out. It was, uh, I mean, it, it's one of, to this day, it's one of my favorite horror yes. movies. I yes. sometimes can't imagine what the the public must have been like in the 70s and the 60s. The pearl clutching. Oh. That fucking must have, I mean, God forbid somebody fart in public and cause a faint. Which brings me to number one. <laughs> Which, when we watch it today, it's a masterpiece. But when it came out, people were so pearl clutching back in 1971, Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange. Mm. Clockwork Orange, yeah. Yeah, I, there was some a lot of really weird scenes in that. Yeah. 
but you watch it, and now it's considered a it's classic. A cl- it's a classic. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, it, it introduced us to the wonderful fucking Malcolm McDowell. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I got nothing bad to say about A Clockwork Orange. Here, leave, leave that here. Oops, sorry. Leave it. Did I do good? You did good. With my last minute assignment. You got you get a gold star for the day. There we go. 